Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am in the kitchen sitting right here on a chair actually because my camera was empty so I have to charge it and this was the first plug that came to mind where I can actually have the opportunity to do something today. But if you're wondering, okay, where is the song, where's the reaction? Well, check out the timestamp there you can just skip forward for today's song from Iceland. But if you're about to stay, well, I actually have something that I am really, really scared about. And that is this right here. Yes, I got mail again. And actually this morning I was about to go to work and then I saw that my landlord put this envelope on my, basically on the stair to my apartment. And I was looking at it and it said like Credit Chenster. So I thought like, okay, it is like, maybe something that you get a loan and it's like a certain type of advertisement so like nothing important or whatever because if it would have been important i would definitely yeah have taken that to work well then on my way to work i started looking up the company which is Sergel or Seriel. i don't know how you really pronounce it in sweden but then i have read they are an incasso company which basically is a company that tries to get the money from people when they don't pay certain things like monthly payments or whatever and I was thinking like no what did I forget now so I really really like I'm actually terrified to look inside because I don't know what I did wrong and I also don't know what I have to pay as a fee or whatever because I don't know yeah I just don't know what I messed up and well at work I actually checked on their website because you can log in there with your bank ID and it tells you like okay what is the things you have to pay and it told me I have no payments so I was like okay so actually I should not be scared but still I wonder why do they contact me and we are about to find that one out now. I was so scared at work and I knew like, I don't want to go home. I don't want to open that. But at the other side, of course, I want to know. But now, yeah, you have this opportunity to see my reaction if I have to pay something or not. Oh, I really, I really don't want to do it. I, this is even worse than not knowing what type of letter you have. <sighs> It is a lot of Swedish text. That's already something that I can tell you. I'm actually kind of shaking. But as I look through it right now, I at least don't see any fees. <laughs> really, really nice. I Like in Germany, there's a saying, when you are really scared and you're like, your body is like really on tension and you're like shaking mentally. And then you realize everything is fine. Basically, it translates to, there is a stone falling from your heart on the ground and you can hear it or everyone around you can hear it. That's like the saying. And I think this is actually what happens right now because basically this document is just telling me that I have to interrupt here because I'm about to tell a lot of wrong things. So basically what has been written in this document is that the company is just notifying me that they have checked my credit worthiness and all the things they can get like out of me so that they can provide my mobile phone provider with information about yeah my capability of paying monthly fees and everything. So I really don't know how you call it in English, but remember that in Germany you have to do this if you want to get an apartment. Oh, oh my God, like for real. This was the worst this morning. Leaving at, leaving home knowing that there is something waiting for me that might be the worst of the day. But it is not. So I will read that later. I can lay back now. <sighs> oh God, like for real. Oh. But yeah, so what was today? Well, today actually was a good day but not in the beginning because in the beginning I was like doing the work thing I tried to fix the first fix that I had to do the second one is still waiting but on the first one I plugged everything in 
like the connector and I redid everything. And then I thought like, okay, it's working. The operator, so like the person who tests things with this fixture can now work on it. And he did and he did. And then he realized, wait, okay, when I leave this connector out, the thing that is supposed to be tested is not tested. So I checked again and I realized, okay, there was a certain setting switched off where I thought like, I didn't even switch it off. Like, okay, I accept it. And in the end, basically, I had to redo <laughs> the whole connection of that one connector. So not everything, just that one cable. But <laughs> because he told me, hey, can you glue the connector to the cables so that I don't accidentally rip a cable out of the connector, which happened on the one yesterday, I felt like gluing is not a smart idea because everything gets sticky and you might mess up. And he said like, no, no, do it, do it. And I was like, okay, I do it. And <laughs> then I did. And of course, bad luck on me. I put so much glue on it that basically the whole connector got covered in glue, filling the holes where you put the pins in with glue. So no chance to get the connector into the, basically into the, yeah, port where it has to be. And I was like, <laughs> like, of course I don't hate him, but in this moment I was like, why did I listen to you? Why did I do that? And well, I tried to kind of clean this connector, get the holes back to work. And I kind of did. I kind of, like I made the connection somehow and then I redid the whole um, wiring and now it works. It is working. And I was like, yes, first fix of this stupid machine done. Now, however, we have to deal with Medusa, which is the bigger problem. And I was already plugging in all the cables today, which actually took at least 90 minutes. And then I said like, nope, I'm not starting on this problem today because if I start on it, it probably takes a few hours minimum to check all the cables. So I will do that tomorrow. I think it's going to be the whole day tomorrow checking on that. But if that is fixed, I can finally focus again on my own tasks. Yeah, but that was my day today. So now let's go to the song from Iceland. Hello guys, I'm LJ and today we will be reacting to Hera Björk, Scared of Heights, which is the national performance of Iceland. I have not listened to the song, I have some opinions, but yeah, no speaking anymore. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. I feel it coming. What do you feel coming? Okay. I think it is not 100% my type, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> you know what this song reminds me of? The Eurovision song for this year of Germany. And it is nothing good. Wait, now they have a slow-mo in the live performance? Ah, they added a video, okay. <laughs> Those two small pyro thingies. Okay, Hera Björk. I think this song suffers the same thing that Isaac from Germany is going to suffer. The song is average. People might like it, other people don't like it. I'm more on the side, unfortunately, that I don't like this song. But it is nothing bad, nothing good. And my prediction is it is not going to make it to the final because nothing unique and 
Iceland has sent Delia last year to the Eurovision Song Contest and unfortunately she did not make it to the final with the song Power but that was one of my like top 10 favorite songs of last year so I just want to tell you with that that of course my my feeling can always be wrong but with this song I don't know however I also did not really see any too good Icelandic songs for this year's yeah Eurovision Song Contest unfortunately how much points do I give Iceland though I have given 6.5 to Isaac from Germany and I think I will give this point um, also nah I have to give it 5.5 points because I just watched Greece Marina Sati ah no let's give it six six points for Iceland that's it sadly but maybe next year they can send someone that has more kick <laughs> so that is my opinion on the song from iceland what do you guys think do you think iceland has the chance to go to the final this year or do you think they unfortunately fail again already on that challenge please feel free to write down your opinion in the comments if you feel like it you can also include your points ranking from one point to ten about the song and tomorrow we are going to watch or listen to the craziest performance of this year which is the song from Ireland yes that's going to be really crazy so I hope you had a wonderful day we will see each other tomorrow bye bye